Good morning. I come to you most weeks and hopefully share something with you, but today my real thing is I want to ask you a favor. And many of you, I hope everybody already has heard maybe that we're going to be going to New York. I'm leaving with a mission team from here, the church parking lot at 9 o'clock Sunday morning. We're going to have a commissioning time. If you haven't already heard about it and would like to, we want anybody and everybody that can. It's going to be really brief. Meet from 8.45. We're leaving at 9 and just have a time of prayer before we leave. If you're able to come and be a part of that, love to have you do it. But I really, really want as many people as are willing to, to be praying for us while we're in New York. Prayer makes a difference. One of the things we're going to be doing is actually prayer walking. And we're going to be walking around praying for the people there, for the ministry that continues far beyond the week we're going to be there. But if there are people here in Nelson that are praying for us while we're there, it's going to make a difference in our experience there. It's going to make a difference in us being able to see what God wants us to see and having the courage and the confidence to do what God wants us to do. Prayer makes a difference. Prayer is powerful. And I know that. I know that from from my own personal experience. So please, if you're a prayer warrior, I, I really do ask that you be a part of doing that um, for this coming week. Sunday through Friday is when we're going to be there. Um, and I told you we're going to do some prayer walking. We're also going to be teaching, teaching English as a second language. And um, the Laverne, who is our missionary there, is going to instruct us on what she wants us to do in helping her. So we'll have instructions if, for those of us who haven't done it before. And uh, we're going to be doing a laundromat ministry. We've collected, our church goal was $500. We co actually collected $631, which ended up being good because now instead of doing one day, I think we're going to end up doing two days of laundromat ministry. People walk in unexpectedly. We're going to pay for their laundry that day, which usually adds up to about $20 a person. And we're going to hang out with them. And just to get to talk to them, get to know them. And the laundromat happens to be below the church that Laverne attends. And we're going to let them know that we're part of working with that church to offer them that free laundry day. And hopefully that's going to generate some interest in, in their relationship with God for those who may not have it. Or reaffirmation that God's a part of their day in life for those who do. So as we go, this is what I'm challenging our team with. And I'll share it with you. It's the Great Commission. Go, therefore, and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, teaching them to observe all that I commanded you. And, lo, I am with you always, even to the end of the age. So we're going to be doing this as we go to New York. If you haven't heard it, one of the things I always share with the Great Commission, when you look in the Greek, that um, go, therefore, is actually translated as you go, and it's intended for all believers. So even though you may not be going to New York with us, you're going somewhere in it today. And if you have Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, he's expecting you to be open to share who he is in your life with others. So how about this? You pray for me in New York, and I promise you that today, right after we're done with this video, I'm going to be praying for everybody that will see this video that your day is going to be one where you're able and willing to share God as well. So. Have a blessed day. Thank you for ahead of time for your prayers.